Greetings, my dear, dear friends, you wonderful 2,000 people who have already subscribed and the 70-something percent of people who watch and who haven't. Maybe today will be the day that you click the red button and subscribe if you enjoy what I do here. One that I'm super excited to get into. I've been waiting for this chomping at the bit since it was released at the tail end of last month. Um, normally, I got this from Terracotta Distribution and they're normally really fast. Usually stuff actually comes through just about a week or so before release, but I think they'd had an issue with their suppliers, um, and so this one was a little bit delayed. But thanks um, to Joey's incredible updates, um, I finally have it in hand. This is uh, the Radiance release of any really Radiance release so far I've been most excited for. Um, and I'm sure the thumbnail will have already given away, but this is the Bounty Hunter trilogy. Um, three absolutely exceptional films, two phenomenally good. The third one gets a little bit of flack, but I still really, really enjoy it. Uh, mostly because I absolutely adore the main actor in these. Uh, these are three vehicles for Thomas Aboro Wakayama, um, the, the star that most people will know from the Lone Wolf and Cub movies, um, but not making his debut on Radiance. We've already seen him in an incredible big time gambling boss, which is a little bit earlier on in his career. And if you haven't already tracked down absolutely grab big time gambling boss phenomenal movie and uh, yeah, most people still know him from lone wolf and cub older brother to zatoichi himself older brother to shintaro katsu um and, and just an incredible really gifted very charismatic actor so physically incredibly capable despite being a slightly larger gentleman so an incredible swordsman really good with gymnastics and acrobatics and uh, which we got to see quite a lot of in the, the lone wolf and cub movies a little bit in this too um, and he also is going to be in uh, the first two of the Shinobi no Mono films, which we're also, thanks to Radiance, getting an incredible looking box set from, I think, in... I have to double check my dates. I think it's in, into June. But yeah, highly recommend that set um, of that series of films too. At some point, hopefully, maybe we'll see the Wicked Priest series of films that he made. I think there's five of those. Um, it would be great if we saw um, a nice restoration and Blu-ray release. But anyway, enough rambling. Good God. Um, easy to get carried away when it's the big man that we're discussing. So um, just before we take this off, so we're getting our now standard Radiance Obi strip um, covering just the edge of the spine. Made a little bit smaller um, for the box sets um, but on purpose so that you can fit it inside. And um, with the single purchases, it's the same height as the box. So you can just slip it inside um, the case and it can sh ship that way. But these push down onto uh, to two boxes, although there is three movies. So we get our little J card, normally just a little sticker at the back, which easily peels off. Beautiful. The attention to detail and the overall design that Radiance do, I don't think anyone else is getting close to. I mean, there's a simplic simplicity and a minimalism to their design that I absolutely adore. It means that once the, the OB strips away, you're totally free of all the BBSCs tampering to try and ruin boxes um, and you're just left with this kind of gorgeous really hard rigid slipcase our obi strip which we can put inside one of the boxes and then we have our three movies over two discs so the first one uh, by shigehiro Azawa, killer's mission um, maybe maybe the most fun of the three for me in some ways and um, kind of introduces us to the character who's a weird blend of doctor spy bounty hunter kind of renegade ronin um all-round lover man um, and singer in some cases he sings a theme tune to the second movie um but yeah he the first one is kind of a plot largely involving some stolen gold um, and is just really really good fun we're getting a wonderful booklet inside um which i know in advance will be wonderful because the radiance booklets always absolutely are with their now trademark sort of title sequence a little kind of wee screenshots which i really dig just a really nice touch um, no one else is doing, but I suspect a whole bunch of people will jump onto the coattails of. And then inside we're getting uh, Killer's Mission cast and crew, uh, the Fort Death cast and crew, Eight Men to Kill cast and crew, So Many People Are Dead by Alan Silver, uh, Remembering Ichikuro by Kinji Fukasaku, amazing. I don't know, <laughs> that's obviously the director of Battle Royale and the, the Battles Without Honour and Humanity series. Uh, the Decline of Nick Nyo, well, the decline of Nikyo movies changed my life. And transfer notes and credits. Um, so I cast and crew notes for all three films. As the, the kind of the blurb on the website will 
will no doubt have said these are heavily inspired by like a whole bunch of different things so a little bit of, of sort of spaghetti westerns huge element of james bond and there's quite a bit of kind of gadget use and particularly in the scores the scores are quite reminiscent of john barry um and eight men to kills cast and crew notes and then we're getting some other stills from the films so many people are dead by alan silver and uh, talking through the era that these movies found themselves being released in and obviously the connection of these coming just before Lone Wolf and Cub. Very cool indeed. There he is, the big man, always the lover man. I remember Ichikiro by Kenji Fugasaku. I'm extremely excited to read. That's apparently published in uh, Kinema Junpo from December 2000. Um, but that's a treat. Uh, I'm not going to fall silent while I jump into that, but I absolutely am going to. Back to the set. So we've got a reversible cover up with a little bit more of a slimline red tinted reversible cover. And I think that might well ring true for the other two. So we've got Fort of Death here and Eight Men to Kill on the back here. And again, we get a repeat. Oh, actually, no, we've got a sort of double cover, which is kind of cool. Again, with a sort of red tint to it, which is quite nice. And inside here is something that I've not seen on a radiant set so far. I'm sure they maybe have done on some of the others but i've mostly been sticking mostly to their their kind of japanese and hong kong releases There's only been one hong kong release so far but the japanese releases have been incredible recently i've sort of strayed from that path just because the radiance releases have been so so good so i've dived into um the world noir series and um, the world noir volume one and also um just working my way through the cosa nostra box set as well with franco nero which are also incredible movies and ones that wouldn't normally be my thing anyway getting these nice really well printed um, kind of repro, not quite repro lobby cards, kind of repro poster art really. Extremely cool from different posters from around the world. Extremely, extremely cool. So they can sit inside there. Your Obi will also quite happily slide into there. Films can go back into the box disc goes into my player and I'm absolutely going to jump in and I will do a review of all three of the movies in due course once I've had a chance to to check them out and see what the restorations look like but I don't doubt they're going to look incredible because Radiance are just, just delivering more and more with every single release and yeah absolutely delighted to have this thank you thank you thank you to Joey at Terracotta for sending it through as quickly as he was able um, a huge respect to uh, to Fran at Radiance for everything you're doing please 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 Give us more Thomas Abaro Wakayama. Um, I will be there for every single one of his movies you put out. And with that in mind, there is another one on the way. Just announced a couple of days ago is going to be uh, 18 Years in Prison, of which he plays the prison warden in. Not a movie that I've seen, but it does um, feature the main actor from uh, By a Man's Face, Shall You Know Him, which I have seen and really, really enjoyed. Um, and so very much looking forward to jumping onto that when it comes out. And I think that's into July. But yeah, Radiance absolutely crushing it easily my favorite label um worldwide at the moment for everything that they're doing so thank you so so much to all of you for watching this let me know in the comments down below if it's a set that you've got which radiance releases you you have that you're most into or which ones you're most excited in the future and we'll have a little chat in the comments i've been the fanatical dragon i will see you on the next one take care <laughs>